Hey guys, it's Kate Knight here. I'm making this video to speak about my goals and what I'm thinking of doing in the future. Whilst I've got a clip of my power building workout in the background. Right now I'm prepping for a powerlifting meet in November for West Midlands powerlifting. Where you're going to do squat, bench, deadlift as usual, three lifts. Uh, I'm, this time I'm looking to qualify for nationals as I've made many mistakes in my previous powerlifting meet. So each bench I was doing, my ass slightly came off, means no lift, so it doesn't count towards the total. Uh, here's some of the lifts, so here's a, a squat of 170, moved quite nicely, this is the second attempt, my third attempt was 180, but since I was doing quite a large weight loss at the time to hit the weight class of 66, didn't move as I wanted to. And here's another lift of my deadlift attempt, third attempt of 230, nearly came up at 66 kilo, it was moving until it slipped out my hands at the top, but you know what, at least I gave it a go. It's power building, so how power building works is we do a power lifting part straight at the start of the workout. So we're getting down those compounds, we'll warm up to a top single, and then we'll drop down to maybe like a 3x5 at a working of RPE, which I'll explain in a later video. The video in the background is what I usually do once a week, and this uh, program I'll be given uh, is by Joey Flex's company, Flex Training Systems, Camden, Top G, knows exactly what we're talking about and we're going to get to the goal we're wanting to, which is going to be qualifying for those nationals and pushing crazy weight. So getting to the topic of the video, let me introduce myself. So I was born and raised in Birmingham, in the United Kingdom. I've always been into sports, such as playing football, playing tennis. I started at, like, I started football about ages 6 to 10. Uh, but I didn't carry that on, it was like a second club. It was good fun though. Uh, I used to, then I took up tennis for about three years. So, I've, I mean, I've still got that under my belt. Say I'm a decent tennis player, but as again, I found it a little bit boring over time and I was kind of looking at what can I actually do with this sport? So this is where I took a break from everything and I was just focusing my studies at that point in time. And now you're wondering, how on earth did you get into powerlifting? So I got towards the end of secondary school and I thought, I need to change something like I can't just sit on my ass and I love sports so I picked up lifting and I, t I tell you now that was not an easy thing to do like going to that gym when I was 16 I was 45 kilo I was a stick figure you know like crazy crazy skinny and lean and when you go into those weight rooms man I tell you now those big adults they are pretty they get a bit scary when you're a very skinny dude like people will be asking how many sets you've got when you've just jumped on that machine I didn't really start touching compounds for a very long time. I used to go in there with my note and go into like lap pool 3 by 12 and try and beat it every week. So progressive overload is still very key. And this is where I joined and started working out with my mate Sean. Brilliant guy if Sean's watching. He taught me the ways through powerlifting and really started to like push me. So like bench I was stuck at. I, was, I think I started about 30 kilo for one at the time. I was 45 kilo skinny dude, hadn't really touched the bar. And I tell you now like it's it's hard when you're that like young and skinny and you're not pushing any weight progress and inspire everyone that everything is possible if you put the work in and i go on this quote consistency is key hope you guys like comment and subscribe and share this video around and follow my instagram at otter hope you guys have a good day just remember consistency is key